course, we're going to talk about now Hurricane Joaquin, and it is strengthening. Expressing new concerns that a massive storm system could soon join forces with a hurricane now churning near the Bahamas and become a very serious wow. storm. This will generate huge waves already seeing decent surf on the east coast of Florida, but this will go all the way up the east coast. Storm. So. That could bring damaging winds and as much as 10 inches of rain to a section of the East Coast that is home to millions. Hey everyone, my name is Derek and I'm concerned about climate change. If you were surprised to find the East Coast suddenly under the threat of a hurricane this week, you are not alone. In the span of a single day, Tropical Storm Joaquin crossed into hurricane category and ballooned into a very strong category three hurricane, bordering on a category four by Wednesday night. The National Hurricane Center expects it to continue to strengthen with no significant limiting factors to cap its intensification and forecasters didn't expect it to get this strong for several more days. Storm track predictions have gone completely nuts, with some models showing landfall basically on top of Washington, D.C., with others showing it hooking into New Jersey, New York, or out to sea. Keep in mind, the East Coast is already being inundated with rain from a separate weather system, so the ground will already be saturated with moisture, setting up flooding and other dangers. The key thing to keep in mind, though, about this storm is that no matter where it makes landfall, it will be more powerful than it should have been thanks to climate change. The ocean waters fueling the hurricane's shockingly fast growth are much warmer than they should be, thanks to human-caused heat forcing effects. In fact, oceans the world over are abnormally hot, and thanks to ongoing carbon emissions, they are gonna get hotter, and the storms are going to keep surprising forecasters. So if you're on the East Coast, get ready, and if you're a politician in Washington, D.C. who wakes up on Sunday with a hurricane punching you in the head, maybe think about how you voted last time on climate change legislation when it crossed your desk. If you're not doing so already, please subscribe to this channel and please visit this website, ready.gov slash hurricanes, for tips on hurricane preparedness. Stay safe. Thanks.